honorable members. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity to uh, introduce the budget vote uh, for the National Treasury of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, before I start, let me take this opportunity to um, extend my uh, condolences to those families who have lost their loved ones as a result of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. In the same vein, let me take this opportunity to wish uh, my colleagues and all other South Africans who find themselves struggling at the moment against this virus. We should always be guided by the spirit that we shall overcome. Once again, thank you for this National Assembly mini plenary, which is sitting to consider the vote for the National Treasury. Section 16 of the 216 of the Constitution gives certain powers and functions uh, to the National Treasury together with the Public Finance Management Act. Every year in February, we present the budget for the Republic of South Africa. And in October, we present the medium term budget statement. This year, however, we've been forced by circumstances to consider a supplementary or an adjustment budget. This we have presented on, the, on June 24th uh, this year. And this has been debated uh, in the House. And I, th I thank you very much for the debates and the uh, discussions which have taken place. Um, no matter how much we might disagree, at the end of the day, we all do what we have to do in the interest of our country. The budget vote therefore today for the National Treasury seeks to obtain your views and your approval for the functioning of the National Treasury's work. With that in mind, we need always to bear in mind that we want to build a strong National Treasury staffed with the best our country and the world can offer. And in this regard, we are in the process of filling some of the critical vacancies which have been there for a while. Recently, interviews took place for some of the critical deputies, director general positions, and cabinet will soon make a pronouncement on them. The National Treasury has set itself a three-pronged strategy. The first is to achieve sustainable public finances. And during the debate on the appropriations bill, we made clear what these were, in particular to bring about a lower budget deficit and a lower debt to GDP ratio. Second, the function of the National Treasury is to strengthen the sound financial controls and management of public finances in South Africa. And in this regard, we pay particular attention to the implementation of the requirements which are there in the Public Finance Management Act. And working together with my colleagues, the MECs of finance, we seek to make sure that controls are there in the country as a whole at all levels. And I continue to be concerned about the slippages which are taking place from time to time. Thirdly, it is our duty as stipulated in the Public Finance Management Act that the National Treasury should advocate for sound economic policy in the Republic of South Africa. And we do this by constantly engaging and debating with our colleagues uh, in cabinet and outside cabinet to strengthen economic policy making. Now, honorable members, we are all concerned that the pandemic has impacted so negatively on our economic performance. And therefore it is one of the duties of the national treasury to help coordinate a response uh, to this to this crisis. 
In this respect, I've requested Dr. Masondo, the Deputy Minister of Finance, to coordinate the government's efforts in the response to economic revival, implementing structural reforms together with all our colleagues. And I've asked him to lead what I call the Vulinzela unit, which will help to coordinate this effort. You will recall that in March, the government initiated a wide ranging relief package to manage the immediate impact of the virus. You remember very well the initiatives that we announced, first thing being to focus on the public health response. And we've indicated what we have done in that regard. Secondly, to support the, the poor um, uh, through the uh, 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 grant to, for relief of distress, we've done that. Thirdly, we have made an intervention to support business through uh, various means, including the uh, loan guarantee scheme. And today we will uh, announce further measures to strengthen the loan guarantee scheme. Fourth, the South African Reserve Bank has made interventions by providing monetary accommodation um, on a large scale, which should help to support businesses and oil the economic development process. Five, we have also spoken to the insurance companies to help support uh, uh, policyholders in this situation. And all this should come to some uh, impact uh, in the economy. We've discussed uh, before the fiscal outlook and the dangers which are there as a result of the ballooning, ballooning budget to uh, uh, debt to GDP ratio. We've discussed that before, and I have no intention of repeating that today. All I ask of you today, colleagues, is to support the budget vote for the National Treasury for them to be in a position to continue doing their work that they have to do in response to the crisis, but also what they need to do on a daily basis as per their mandate. Honorable Chair, I raise my case and wish you a good debate this afternoon. Thank you very much.